Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I wanted to go over some low level monsters or monsters that you can kill at least at a low level and that will actually get you a significant amount of profit. Now we have to keep things in perspective here. You're not going to be making 1 mil an hour or anything like that killing lower level monsters but for those who really like training combat and want to make a little bit of money at the same time I think this video will be useful for you. I'm going to show you 10 monsters that are decently profitable, ranging from maybe 100k an hour to even 500k an hour, giving varying degrees of efficient combat experience as well. And we will be using a few different combat styles, although melee is going to be preferred as it's very low cost and easy to obtain at a low level. Now for the recommended levels in gear, I would recommend at least 60-ish in your combat style of choice. For the sake of this video, I'm using a Dragon Scimitar, a Full Rune, an Amulet of Glory, a Defender, and Barrow's Gloves, although those could easily be subbed out for something that has a lower requirement, these are not entirely necessary. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and let's get started. Now the first monster on the list here is the Sulphur Lizard. The Sulphur Lizard will require you to have 44 Slayer to actually be able to kill it, as you do need to be able to wear the Boots of Stone, which do have that Slayer requirement. Uh, while you can kill them on the Slayer task, uh, you can also AFK them off task fairly easily. They are located in the Karulm Slayer Dungeon. You just need to take the eastern entrance, go up the ladder, and you should be right at them already. They're pretty close. Now, Sulphur Lizards have very consistent drops of a bunch of different things. They drop Iron Ore, Coal, Iron Bars, Steel Bars, Tin Ore, Copper Ore, as well as Nature Runes and Herbs. And the good thing about them is all of this stuff is stackable except for the herbs, which makes this really easy to AFK for long periods of time as you don't need to bank very frequently. Sulfur Lizards only have a hit points level of 50 and a max hit of 5, which means if you have 50 or 60 defense, you won't really need to bring much food. Now the GP per hour here is maybe max 100k an hour, but the combat experience is quite good as they have a very low defense level and are pretty numerous, so you'll be able to constantly be attacking a lizard picking up the drops and continuing on. And this place is even more awesome if you're an Iron Man looking for early game ores and bars to tramp smithing, which makes this monster pretty damn good. All right, the next monster here is Salarin the Twisted. And while he is very low level and really easy to kill, the only major requirement here is to have a higher agility level to access it. Uh, you will need 67 agility or level 62 with a summer pie, which is a bit of a hefty requirement, but 62 is definitely reasonable to get. It'll pay off anyway if you have it. So Salarin the Twisted is somewhat of a unique NPC. He can only be damaged by magic and specifically the four strike spells. So what you want to do is you want to attack him with fire strike. It will always hit a maximum damage of 12. Uh, that's the max it'll ever do, unless you splash, in which case you'll hit zero. However, with low to medium level magic gear, you should be hitting relatively frequently and killing him very quickly. This makes for actually decent low level magic training. However, the main drop you're looking for here is the Sinister Key, which is dropped at a rate of 1 out of 13 and is worth 32k, which means you can acquire quite a few of these an hour as it only takes a few seconds to kill him. You hop to another world and repeat. The Sinister Key will always retain value as the chest that it opens gives you a herb and the herbs value up to around 35k or something like that. Salarin the Twisted is one of those outdated monsters from way back in RuneScape Classic or RuneScape 2, but he actually does have an interesting place in old school RuneScape as a decent low level moneymaker. Coming at number 3 is the level 75 Temple Spiders that were just recently released with the new Forthos dungeon. Now these aren't going to be insane money per hour, I think maybe 50 to 100k depending on how AFK you are. However the combat experience here is really good and they are aggressive. That being said, unlike most spiders, they actually do have a decent drop table. They drop 10 to 15 of multiple different runes including death runes, nature runes, chaos runes, and cosmic runes. As well as they even drop runite daggers and rune med helms at a rare chance. On top of that they also access the herb table as well which means that they very commonly will drop something valuable. Now the Forthos dungeon has no inherent requirements to access although if you do complete the mini quest and kind of unlock more parts of the dungeon getting here will be slightly easier but really not necessary. Now the only main requirement for this method is protect from melee as it's a multi-combat zone and there are a load of spiders which means you do need to protect from melee or else you're going to take too much damage which means ideally if you do have the proselyte set that would be the best as it gives a much higher prayer bonus than most other melee gear. Now when you consider the cost of prayer potions you probably won't be making a ton of money here but at, but you will still break even but you will still make some money but you will most likely still make some money and get a ton of combat experience an hour which I think this makes this a viable low level monster that you can kill for a bit of profit. 
Now coming up next here is a more broad idea and that is uh, Wilderness Slayer. Any monster or low level monster that you can kill as a task from Crystallia does have a chance of dropping uh, either a Mysterious Emblem or a Laron's Key. The Laron's Keys are worth around 100 to 150k each and the Mysterious Emblems about 50 to 60k each. And considering the amount of time it takes to kill these monsters, the lower level ones actually turn out to give more Laron's Keys and uh, Mysterious Emblems per hour over their higher level counterparts. Crystallia assigns a lot of low level monsters to kill including spiders, scorpions, bears, lesser demons, chaos druids, skeletons, there are a ton of low level monsters that Crystallia assigns which means you'll get a pretty decent chance at getting a mysterious emblem and a somewhat rare chance of getting a Laron's key but considering the amount of these that you can kill per hour it's actually pretty good. Now the next monster here is the Undead Druid, which was also a new monster added with the Forthos Dungeon update. It is not exactly a low level monster, but the requirements for killing it are rather low. I'd recommend at least 61 ranged for the Rune Crossbow. Ideally some Broad Bolts, but anything less will work. I would also recommend getting Protect from Magic. Now once again, there are no actual requirements to access this area, however completing the mini quest and unlocking more parts of the dungeon will make accessing this area easier. Now the undead druids are extremely simple to kill, you will always want to protect from magic, and since we are attacking with range, they will never be able to use their uh, melee attack, which means we'll be 100% immune from damage as long as you don't step into melee range. They have 140 hit points, which is somewhat high, however their drops are really decent. They drop air battle staffs and earth battle staffs at an uncommon rate. They drop a substantial amount of runes fairly commonly. They drop 1-3 to three, uh, herbs relatively commonly, including Renars. They drop Herblore Secondaries as well as Amulets very, very commonly, which means that you can get a decent amount of money per hour here killing them. This is probably one of the higher level requirements in this video as if you have a lower range level, say 30 or 40, it's going to be painful to try to kill these. You probably want at least 60, but ranged is a pretty quick to train skill, so I'd say 60 is still kind of low level. And once again, extremely useful if you are an Iron Man. Alright, so next up here is Lava Dragons, and while they are definitely not a low level monster, it's actually pretty efficient to kill them at a low level, as it's in the wilderness, and the lower combat level you are, generally the safer you're going to be at Lava Dragons. If you come here pretty much right off the bat with Fire Strike at level 13, it's actually a really decent way to level up your magic and profit at the same time. Casting Fire Strike is extremely cheap, so you will always be making money as the average drop is around 15 to 20k. It's going to take you a long time to kill the Lava Dragon as while they don't have very high magical defense, they do have an extremely high hit point pool. So it's going to take you a while to work through each individual dragon, but the drops are pretty decent. And for a combat money making method, it's not that bad. At lower levels, you could actually get from level 13 to 40 or 50 relatively quickly, getting around 20 ish K experience an hour. As you will want to bank here relatively often, even though you are a low level account, there are PKing accounts specifically built to take out lower level players, so you are still in danger of getting killed by level 50 or 60 combat PKers. Now, there are a ton of valuable drops on the Lava Dragon's drop table. There's Rune Kite Shields, Rune Full Helms. One of the more valuable drops is the Onyx Bolt Tips, which are dropped in an uncommon rate and worth around 100k. And if you got extremely lucky, you could even get the Draconic Visage, which is worth around 6 mil currently. Overall, not a bad monster to kill kill at a low level, actually more effective in some ways because you are much more safe over when you consider a level 50 or 60 combat account is just going to get attacked by every single PK or around. Next up here is a very old school monster and that is Hobgoblins. Uh, in a member's world, they actually have a decent drop table for a low level monster. They have access to the herb drop table, uh, which includes a Renar Weeds, which you'll get fairly commonly as well as Limpet Roots. Now, Limpet Roots are actually worth something again. They're worth almost 1k each. I wouldn't really recommend doing this if Limpet Roots aren't valuable at all, and this is really a entry-level, low-level moneymaker. But if you're looking to get a bit of combat experience, it's not a bad option as there are no requirements to access it. You really only need like 30 or 40 combat to kill these things, and they're pretty close to some of the main areas. The easiest way to get here is either from Edgeville or from Varrock, if you go through the Varrock entrance, you'll need a brass key. Through the Edgeville entrance, you'll just need to run a little bit further. You may need to bring a little bit of food, but they don't do much damage, honestly. If you have 40 or 50 defense, they will not hit you for very much. And it's very simple just to camp here for an entire inventory and then go ahead and bank in either Edgeville or Varrock and repeat. The combat experience here is pretty decent considering the level that you're most likely killing these at. 
The GP per hour is probably only 50k to 75k an hour, which I think is acceptable considering you're getting pretty decent combat experience. And the final monster is a classic, and that is Fire Giants. They have been killed for profit for years now. Now, the main reason that they are valuable is because, for one, they drop the Rune Scimitar, and a lot of people want that, especially Iron Man. But they also drop other valuable things as well, including a Fire Battle Staff, as well as Rune Arrows, Chaos Runes, Law Runes, as well as a Herb Drop Table. So they have quite a few medium valuable drops and they are pretty decent ranged training. You'll need to have started the waterfall quest unless you want to go to one of the more obscure locations, which I wouldn't really recommend, as well as having probably 50 or 60 ranged, although you can go lower. Their defenses are very low, and there is a safe spot here, so you can really go at any level. The kills will just start taking longer the lower and lower you go. The safe spot here is pretty easy to go to. You just stand right beside the door and attack the fire giant. And all I'd recommend bringing is a rope, which you'll need to access here. I believe you may also need a Galadriel's amulet if you haven't gotten far enough in some of the quest lines. I do remember it kicking you out. However, it hasn't done that to me for a while. So, as well as ranging potions and sharks, the GP per hour is going to be fairly low, but you will still profit off of this monster. So, I think it's pretty decent. Anyway, guys, that is it for today's video. Those are a few low level monsters that you can kill for profit. Obviously, you're not going to be making millions of GP here, but, but they are decent options if you want a nice combination of training and uh, a bit of money making at the same time. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.